everyone, and welcome to our Monday Minute. Today, I'd like to talk with you about targeted probe and educate specific to hospice and what we have been seeing happen there. The targeted probe and educate review process was put in place originally in October of 2017 um, for both home health and hospice. Um, it was put on hold in March of 2020 when the public health emergency began. And then it came back full force September of 2021. Since September of 2021, we have seen a huge influx of medical review um, focused specifically on hospice. Um, and that includes, of course, targeted probe and educate. Targeted Probe and Educate, for those of you who have not experienced it yet or who are not familiar, includes that the Medicare MAC, um, they are the ones that conduct the reviews, um, will send you a letter telling you that you have been targeted. And for hospice, typically they are very specific about the reason why you have been targeted. Many times it's a result of them reviewing data analysis, um, sometimes your PEPA reports, um, sometimes your ADR medical review history, uh, sometimes it's because another reviewer has been in your charts and has said they need to be looked at. Regardless, it typically will tell you the reasons, some of the common reasons, long lengths of stay, non-cancer diagnosis with long lengths of stay, um, a lengthy um, average stay for GIP patients, et cetera. Typically, when they give you a very specific reason as to why you've been targeted, they will, in turn, only pull charts to review um, that are specific to that target reason. Um, and so because of that, you may have very few patients currently on service that meet the criteria for the reason you've been targeted, in which case it could be an extended period of time um, to get through this audit process. They have to pull at least 20 claims uh, in order for the audit to be complete. They can pull as many as 40. They have only 30 days to review the chart once you have sent in the entire chart to be medically reviewed. At the end of all of the charts that they have requested for review, they will send you a letter giving you a determination and making a denial percentage calculation if your denial percentage is above the accepted denial percentage for your Medicare MAC, you will move to round two after they have got done an education call with you and waited 45 calendar days to start that next review. In the next review, the same process will take place. If you fail round two, you will then participate in round three. If you fail round three, you are likely to be referred to the OIG for additional review or a UPIC audit or a SMERC audit. You need to ensure that if you receive the letter for targeted probe and educate, that someone in your organization is very focused on making sure that those charts are clinically reviewed and that they are sent in um, in very good shape. Everything that they have requested is in place. There is a cover letter that's been put on the front um, or of the packet to lead the reviewer through the chart so that they're not wasting time digging, trying to find what they're looking for. Uh, do make sure that it is complete um, and that it is submitted timely. Um, the scrutiny that hospices are currently under, regardless of the medical review contractor that's calling for the reviews, we are convinced is a result of the uh, focus that the OIG has put on hospice of late, understanding that one of the things that the PEPPER reports is revealing are high percentages of Medicare Part D payments being made on your beneficiary's behalf, even while a patient is in hospice, and the OIG is extremely concerned about that. So the PEPPER reports, again, um, could also be triggering um, the targeted probe and educate reviews. We hope this helped a little bit today. Um, if you were to need assistance with Targeted Probe and Educate, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we are very excited about seeing many of you this summer in live conferences across the nation. Um, and we hope to see you there. 
Um, we will include uh, links to Targeted Probe and Educate for each of the Medicare Max um, in this minute. And hopefully that will assist you in understanding more fully um, what you have been subject to or could possibly be subject to if you have not already. We hope you have a fabulous week and see you soon.